Greetings! It is I, Sonic Emerald, and welcome to Steam World Dig, a fistful of dirt. This is my uh, surprise side LP. There has been some uh, videos of this in, in, in other YouTube subscribers, but I wanted to get into this. This is a very interesting game. There's a lot of hype about it, and uh, I want to get into it myself. So let's options. It's okay. Music is fine, I guess. Eh, turn the music down a little bit. Here's your uh, basic controls for your attack circle and uh, changing tools and change weapons and stuff. So we're good on that. Basically, we're British, I guess. Let's just start. Ignore that one. Don't need to see it. Alright. Nice close up. <laughs> Three population. Yep, he fell down. Woo. Well, I don't reckon I get out of the way I got in. Could be part of my uncle's mind, I guess. All it needs is a splash of paint. Better explore it before the rest of my life dwindles. Yes, that's the one thing about it. you got light in this game. Say, what do you think you're doing? This is Dorothy. Your dramatic interest just caved the roof in. I'm sorry, miss. My uncle sent me to cling to this mine. I was heading to Tumbleton to find out why when I fell through. Oh, you're Joe's nephew. He's been gone a while. I've been sneaking down here and mining while little I can, and just found him. I'm sorry. You should go see for yourself. Alright, we're going to go over and take a look where Uncle Joe's at. Now, get, this is uh, your flame icons that refill your, your lamp supply. So you can see through here. And here's Uncle Joe. It's been a while, Uncle. Sorry I didn't make it here before you left us. You've always claimed we were such much alike. Can't say I understand why you sent me the claim, though. I'm no miner. <sighs> well, I hate to rob you of your plunder. But if I guess borrow your pickaxe, I might get out of this calaboose. What the heck does that even mean? What's a calaboose? I don't know. I'm not even going to even think about what that means. Alright, we got the old pickaxe. Basically, hit the circle button, and you're just digging through here. This is the weakest of the dirt. Now, down here is some health, which I picked up and then lost. Go up here and talk to her again. See, you found a pickaxe. You do look like a proper miner with it. That's good. The lever opened the door out of here, got buried while you dropped in. You have to clear out a tunnel below us to get to it. Well, there is a lever down here, and basically, we're going to go down here and uh, pick up some flame along the way. Just hold down the button and dig down here. And there's the lever. And that will open that up. Go 
on the way out. Alright, wall jumping. Press the direction you want to go and press X. Just a basic way to do it. Just like in uh, Mega Man X. You do a lot of wall jumping in that game. This is your health icon, which fills your health meter. Then we'll continue on. Uh, let's see here. What's down here? We'll get to it in a moment, but we're going to go ahead up here for a second. This game automatically saves when you get out. Talk to this lady. I guess. Of course, you're only a three populated town. What do you expect? Not really. He just said he wasn't a miner, but we'll go with it. Almost looks like him, I guess. Alright. Talk to Dorothy. I uh, he sure did. Okay, this uh, opens up the uh, minerals of the game called ores. You find them in the dirt and you bring it back to her and she'll give you a fair rate for it. And this will help uh, upgrade your pickaxe. Alright, this guy right here is old Cranky. Okay, we can't open up his resource shop yet until we go down here. So basically, here's your mechanic of the game. Alright, to my right here, you see all these stones? These are your uh, resources. We found a trashium. That's, a, that's only for like a dollar. Alright, just to go over a few things. Your slots down the bottom. Right now, we have a capacity of three slots on minerals. Uh, the trash uh, stone that we picked up, we can have up to, I believe, four of them at a time in that one slot. Now, there's other minerals in the game that you will find that will cover probably two in that one slot or one in that slot, depending on how valuable and how big it is. There's our first enemy of the game. Takes three hits. There's another uh, trashium. Yeah, so you can get up to four of those. There's another trashium. Now, basically, to get that other resource, all you got to do is jump back up here. You can't get that because it's stronger target. Take three hits to kill him. And just to let you know, the minerals do not dissolve. They won't. Um, the only time they will dissolve if you get a stone in the game. Be careful of the heavier stones, not this particular stone that you see that's right below him. There's another stone in the game. If you hit it, it'll it's instant death if you go under it. Or it will destroy your stones that you uh, that you collect throughout the game. If you die and come back, there'll be a bag, a money bag, that'll give you back all your stuff that you lost. So grab this mineral here. Another trash ham. Awesome. And we got a copper now for $2, and you get up to four of those in a slot. So this is basically what you're going to be doing throughout the game. It is mandated that you have to collect all this mineral. See, now we have enough. Now we can go back and sell our loot. You just got to get a certain amount. As of right now, what I'm going to do... I don't know why I did that, but... I'm going to collect as much minerals as I can throughout here. 
and uh, I will meet you back upstairs in just a moment. Okay, I am back. I gets all the mineral that I can collect at this point. Now we talk to Dorothy. All right, we unlocked the sh uh, the sharp pickaxe. That doesn't mean we have it. We have to get it from him. All right. Here are the stuff that you can get in this game. It is mandatory as of right now. He doesn't have a whole lot of stuff at this point. But um, we're going to pick up the sharp pickaxe right now so we can hit that other dirt that we could not hit. This one's even stronger. It will, uh, once we get it later on, um, you can be able to pick up, I mean, destroy even heavier dirt. These are ladders. I don't hardly ever use them but if you do use them it helps you get out of tight spite tight spots in the game if you can't get out normally but if you notice on the bottom there we have 10 gold now to the right there's something blue there it looks like a spear we'll talk about that later because that's way later in the game we'll talk about that a lot later let's pick up the sharp pickaxe right now now we have it. Now these two unlock. So now we can come back and get that. It's like what I was saying. The pickaxe you picked up should take on harder dirt deeper down. The, the better the upgrade on the pickaxe, the more you can take out harder dirt. All right. Now we got to go back and explore the cave. Now, you know, remember those uh, tougher dirt that we could not uh, pick? Well, first pick up this one. See, now it's one hit. See this dirt right here? Now we can kill it. Or destroy it. Ooh, that is worth one slot. That is pretty good. More trash in. Now, I recommend right now through this game is to pick up the, the next upgrade. Um, I mean, if you want to pick up the fourth upgrade, you can, but... But I recommend the, the third one at this point. So basically what I'm going to do right now is pick up some more mineral. Uh, anyway, on the right hand side of the screen, there's a uh, icon. You'll get one of these every so often. It tells you where to go in the game. What you got to do. When you explore down more of this shaft or underground, whatever this is, you're going to pick up upgrades throughout the game that you need to progress through the story so all right this is the stone that I'm talking about do not and I repeat do not pick at the dirt that's underneath that stone because it will kill you it's instant death so watch out for that That won't kill you. Basically, you're just going to go along here and pick up as much mineral as possible with the flame that you've got. gonna do is uh, go around here pick up some more minerals as I can and I'll meet you back up there
right, I am back, and uh, let's see, turn this trash loot in. And that's mainly all you're doing. Picking up trash loot and selling it to him. Alright. Now, here's another new one. It's called Health. It's a it's it's not an upgrade. What that is is basically refills your health if you need it. But that's mainly it. But the only thing we need right now is the copper pickaxe, so that's what we're gonna get right now. And as you can see, there's now a bronze pickaxe. So you you can go back and get that one if you so choose. Um, it just makes the mining in this game so much easier to do. Let's get the hang of it. reason the enemies are still a certain whoa see what I mean that is instant death if you're not careful see now I can only pick up one more copper see there's no room right now because I don't have enough slots Got it up here. Watch out for that. Yeah, there's certain ones that you cannot pick up. Like, I can't pick that up either. Offer that I wanted. Alright, let's head on back up. Alright, let's turn all this in. Medium pouch and a lamp. Alright, medium pouch is basically opens up more slots down on the bottom so you can hold up, so you can get more stones. The lamp is actually an upgrade to your flame. You can make uh, your lamp meter longer so you can stay in the, in the depths a lot longer than normal. So, they're only worth three gold. I would suggest on, um, at this point in the game, I would go ahead and buy them. Just to have. Well, I'm sorry, they're not lamp for your upgrade. If you run low, you can use them to uh, to bring back your meter. There are upgrades to the lamp meter. There are, but we don't have access to them yet. So basically what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, oh, plus also, if you hit the space bar, it basically pauses your game. If you hit the R1 button, you can flip back and forth to uh, items like the ladder or the lamp. Um, this is the pause menu. This is actually tells you uh, you circle for attack. You can change weapons. Well, well, there is another weapon in the game that you can change, but I don't hardly ever use it. But the space is your inventory slot. Uh, use triangle to use your tool and R1 to change your tool. Now, self-destruct means uh, basically you die and come back for a fee. You don't want to do that. Unless you're, ex if you're stuck somewhere and you cannot get out and you don't have any ladders and there's no way up possible, this is your last resort right here to use. I wouldn't recommend using it anyway. Um, 
I forgot to set my timer. Well, shit. Uh, I, I do that a lot. I keep on forgetting to set my timer in this game. Uh, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. I had an important phone call that I had to have, so that one was actually a good phone call. Um, anyway, um, I'm just going to collect all the minerals that I, that I didn't get. That's basically what I'm doing. Might as well make sure you have them all. Because if I, if I don't collect them... It's a waste. <laughs> All right, no room for that. There's going to be a certain point through the game that you will not pick up any more dollar trashians. But, you know, of course, the further you progress, the minerals are going to get a lot better, a lot better. What I'm trying to do is... Enemies will drop uh, health or, or uh, lamps to help you see through the depths of the cave. Which is always a good thing to have. Enemies will drop more health than they will lamps. I don't know, I don't understand why, but they do, so. Yeah, there's another good one. drop any like um, yeah I think we just uh, got rid of all the, the tranium in this game or the tr trashium it just doesn't want to get to me I'm about ready to run out of light well actually there's some more light right there Ah, that's what it's for. All right, we're done with the trash. I'm, I'll make it back up up there, and I'll meet you outside. All right, we are back. Let's turn in our loot. And let's see if there's anything we can get. We can get our medium pouch. I recommend, um, as of right now, don't worry about the Browns pickaxe at this point. I would recommend getting the medium pouch. Now we just opened up one more slot. Now there's a big pouch you can get. It opens up another slot. And there is actually one more that it gives you five slots after the big pouch. I forget. I think it's called giant pouch. And I think that's the best one you can get. And that's all the pouches. Well, I'm going to call this apart. Uh, next time, when I get back, I will have... Uh, the next uh, upgrade for his pickaxe, the bronze pickaxe, which that's all I would need for the other depths of the game, uh, get you pretty far into the game with that, and uh, we'll continue on and get our next upgrade for him, and uh, 
that'll be swell next time on steam world dig this full of dirt this is sonic emerald saying goodbye and see you on the flip side i'm thinking maybe i'm just gonna just say steam world dig how about that <laughs>